What is going on, Synodaisies? I am Andrew Flash Gordon, and I am joined by my co-host, Vivian. Hello. And we are here to watch a video titled, Local Indian Family Invite... Uh, invite or Invites? Should be invite. Invite us. Invite. Okay. Invite that us works. into their... Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not plural. <laughs> invite us into their home for... Diwali celebrations. Oh, I want to get invited for that. Please. Guys, where are my invites? I don't see... Hours. Hours and the plane tickets, too. We that goes with it. a few weeks yeah. before Diwali hits. Plane so. tickets and invites. If you send those our way, we'll consider it. Just saying. Also, First class. I'll take economy. I don't care. Just... Get me there. I'm I'll sp- pack snacks. All right. She takes economy. I take first class. Wow. No, just what just, a gentleman. <laughs> what I was trying to say is I'll give her my first class and then I'll sit. Yeah. Her yeah. Her. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he meant. Uh, okay. He's taller. Yeah. So. Right. To be fair, Vivian, it's, it really is true. I, I know. I'm literally like this. I know. It's, it's really I uncomfortable. I'm, okay. I'm cross-legged. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get started with this video. I'm excited. Here we go. We don't really know what to expect. <laughs> wow. Happy Diwali. Expect the unexpected. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Ship Diwali. Whoa. I love fireworks. Oh. There we go. Thank God. Party. Welcome back to the channel. We're oh. Janine and Liam Day. American I should probably get rid of those, right? And after just a couple hey, of he has my name. India, we've been invited to spend Diwali inside an Indian family's home in Pune. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for us, and we can't wait to bring you along with us as we have no idea what to expect. This is cool. A party. Oh, this is a cool logo, too. It's cool. It's unique and it's trippy at the same time. They've got the medicine Welcome caduceus the thing. We are still in Pune in Western India. Are y'all we doctors? We're actually going to be leaving right now, but we got an invitation that we just couldn't refuse. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you would have seen us going on a really that. awesome day out uh, and adventure into Pune where we ate and saw some incredible things. Well, the local woman, our friend P- Purva, um, who took us on that trip, uh, has invited us round to her family's home for Aww. Diwali, which That's is today. Cool. Well, it's a five-day festival, but this is like the main day. Mm. So we're out on a bit of a limb here. Uh, we were going to be moving on. We don't really know what to expect or how to behave or what, what we're supposed to do. Just so respectfully. Go <laughs> and uh, party. Diwali and try and work out uh, how we're going to navigate today. And we're going to bring you along with us. It should be a lot of fun. Here we go. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Are you ready Happy Diwali. Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. For today. It's going to be awesome. Actually, this morning was just crazy because it was pitch black outside. It was dead silent. And all of a sudden, this massive firecracker Boom. goes off and completely makes me jump out of my skin. Yeah. <laughs> and then silence for the rest of Why the Why didn't you morning. record that? We wanted to see um, it. So yeah, it's Take them be by surprise. Anyway, it's going to be fun. Feeling grateful to be in India on this prestigious Those happy day, days. but not Aww. knowing what to expect, we I'm a happy day. on the main day of Diwali to scope out what is happening. OK, cool. We are heading now to one of our favorite restaurants. Since we've been here for a few days now, we've actually got a favorite restaurant and it is so, so I good. The food is amazing. So we're gonna see if we can get a seat on Diwali in our favorite restaurant. Pizza. Happy Diwali. Ooh. From which country you are? England. Wow, I love Aww, it. he's so adorable. Oh, where, where till you have learned, uh, studied? Uh, study, we studied in England and now we're traveling India. Wow. Yeah, and your English is so good. I got to tell you again, it really makes me happy to see when like, because I remember experiencing that and it resonates with me when I was a child and just seeing people from other places and other countries like, wow, you're from Australia or you're from yeah. India or you're from there. So I can totally relate and understand where this young, adorable child is coming from right oh, now. And seeing the, again, the wonder, the sense of, of adventure in his eyes, like, oh my God, somewhere that's not here too. Like, I'm, I'm excited to hear about your journey and tell me more. Like, it's adorable. You could just see it all over. It's written all over his face. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. He's so sweet. No, yeah. I didn't get my English uh, so much because uh, here and he's got really good at English too. But I wanted to speak with you and I you wanted to practice. You've already seen us. Uh, yes, I wanted to talk with you, but I have not get that time. I'm your name? Uh, Pratamesh. What's your name? Pratanam. Mesh. Pratamesh. What is your name? My name is Liam and this is Janine. Wow, bro. 
I like this girl. Bye. Uh, bye. So nice to see you. Oh. No, keep him in the whole video. I know. <laughs> Let so him nice. be your guide. Oh, wow. What, what Let him guys. be your Harry. Yeah. There's another video we did, and I don't know when it's coming out, but there's a Harry in that I'm video. We like Harry. Hi, I'm Hi. from India. You're from India? Yeah. And you're from India? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. This is Abhishek, and we're so fortunate for it to be around the corner from our guest house. Oh, it cool. It's definitely one of the best uh, pure veg. Look how beautiful it's like a, it is. It's like a paradise. Uh, that we've had in India. I love the oh, look so and the, the style. See the food. This is the owner. What's your name? Baritosh. He's so young. Baritosh, he's the owner. And uh, he's got like, we're saying it's like the best uh, real veg food we've had in India. So, uh, no, I'm so, I'm so honored to host you guys. Thank you. It's been an honor. Thank you, sir. I love that you eat spicy food. It's so unusual. I love that you eat spicy food, it's so unusual. <laughs> we love the spicy food. Us too. We ordered our spicy food. All day. Food. We're getting idli vada, but this is mm. different because it doesn't come on a plate, the dry idli, uh, where you pour the sauce on top. It comes out completely different, and I'm going to show you. I'm sorry, I have to point out, I love that this guy's just staring at the camera. <laughs> There's this video, I'm... I don't know if I can find it. It's this girl. She's at IHOP where she's dancing. Oh, you, you know that video yeah. I'm talking about? And then there's the girl that's staring at her like, and this is that guy. Yep. <laughs> totally unabashed. <laughs> but I love this look. I don't know why. This guy's my MVP. This video. I just love this look. Is like giving them the dead eyes. I feel like any brown area you'll have the people who are just like what are you doing like <laughs> dare, dare you record your meal eating right <laughs> why who are you again like in the other viral video i still that that music and that song drives me crazy in the way she's and but the look on that woman's face is like 95 percent of the people watching so that's why it's like it was it resonated with everyone <laughs> and went viral and meme uh -huh. worthy it's so good Oh my god, we're getting quite a big crowd around ah. us because we're filming. <laughs> and uh, the kids followed us in as well, so attracting quite a lot of attention. Oh, yeah. Vivian, do you think we'd get a crowd around us and the Synethacy yes. team if we were in India? Yes. Okay. You guys Definitely. look familiar, Just maybe. because you're white, oh, that for too. one. That too. <laughs> And two, I'm Asian, might be a little different, but people would definitely be like, what are they, why are they here? Mm -hmm. You know, I have been recognized before. <gasps> uh, I'm from Synethasy, so I'm like, are you on Synethasy? Do you know Achara and Jam? I was like, maybe. I'm waiting for my Oh, my I'm time. surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm right here, guys. <laughs> yes. If you have to put in your tea, uh, I, uh, and we will all Okay, cool. It's like, I got you. Aww. Oh, they're so sweet. Ooh. That looks bomb. So this is the peppercorn. And it actually looks like a donut soup. I was just thinking that. It looks like donut soup. I'm glad she said it first. But savory and full of spices. This is what's called a soya basket. And it's um, the first time we've ever seen it in India. And it's like chunks of soya. So almost like a meat alternative, but natural. And... Um, so I are gluten. That looks unbelievable. Like the texture, and I love the sauces around it. It looks nice and soft. Oh. Cut it. Cut a piece off so we can see. Ooh, that crunchy. All the right there. Yes. Yes. That looks delicious. I love that cooling with the spice together. Yeah. Well, it's just got that perfect blend of balance. They know what they're doing. I know I've been made fun of before, but like... Who? I will punch them for you, Vivian. Who did it? Our fans. No. Oh, no, no, no. Um, Never mind. Don't Sorry, punch guys. our fans. thought you meant someone here in the studio. Like, the portions are so small. Mm -hmm. How is their table not... <laughs> right. I was actually just kind of thinking that. Okay, good. It's not just me. I'm not we just a glutton because I'm like. We need a bigger table. But that's actually. No, I would just need three or four like different things. Am I a piggy? No, you're not. But we actually, whenever I go out to a restaurant, like I specifically want the table to be bigger just yeah. in case I get a lot of food. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, now I need to purposely not order that much Are we food just American? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, we need bigger uh, plates. <laughs> um, okay, so. 
you know, just and that's one bite. <laughs> Third, I get them. what the restaurants trying to do though. In, in the restaurants I go to that have these smaller tables, they want more sure. tables for uh, the limited amount of space that they have. I'm like, I, I want a lot of food. I want a though. lot of food. <laughs> Sorry, continue. I live probably about half an hour's drive away. That's the family that we're going to <laughs> have Diwali with tonight. Oh, how Our funny! One of the pure veg restaurants in Pune. They're, They're in the same many. place. They've come here. It's the popular so spot. Anyway. Good we're food's good food. On. Before we do that, we have to leave here, get a few bits, including we have to sort out what we're wearing as well, which is a big deal, Janine, right? Mm -hmm. yes. You have to wear new clothes. So that's the next challenge, I think. We're going to go and see the children now. They've been waiting outside all this time. They've come in once more to try and get us. Aww. But we're going to have <laughs> She's like, I'm not happy. <laughs> They made their whole day. Hold on, hold on. I want to see how much for a haircut. Not like $25 every two weeks you guys have to do. That's yeah. the cheapest. $199. So how much is that in, in American currency? 199 rupees in English dollars is $2.37. I'm so jealous. <laughs> That's why all their hair looks so amazing all the yeah, time. Yeah, my haircut costs $50. <laughs> <gasps> How often? Uh, once every four to five weeks. Okay, not so bad, but still. Yeah. That's why my hair is down to my butt. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Jealous of those prices. Okay, you get the massage too and everything. and oh, like. I, I, I don't get any of that. Uh, to go and mm -hmm. see their family. They I get the razor massage. And uh, it was on the way home anyway, so I'm going to pop in and say hello to... Um, the entire family, I think. Nice You're going to make them so happy. happy. They're like, why did you bring them here? <laughs> She's saying that, uh, do you eat uh, the sweets? It will be very nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is a special of food of Diwali. Uh, the only thing is we have the, the, we can't eat ghee. No ghee. No ghee. Yeah, Are they vegan? Black tea also and... The, okay, black tea. But we're going for a black tea, yeah? Black tea. Black tea, yeah. Black tea so sweet. I'm so glad the these kids are in the video longer. Yeah. But the host today were the very friendly children who spoke great English. After offering us refreshments, we sat down in the lounge surrounded by children <gasps> of all ages. Oh, how cute they are. Although we couldn't speak the same language, we oh. both understood the sentiment of what was being said. Happy Diwali. They're asking Happy for Diwali. autographs. For what? Their autographs. autographs. Huh? They want it on their hands. Uh, oh, you want it on your hands? Yes. Okay. Aww. Can you answer? They're so sweet. Uh, this is a diva we call it in Marathi. <laughs> we just put here oil and we have to take they burn it and keep it here over here. And uh, just we have to burn it. It will be give light over the... We have to put it in outside the door. It will be give light. I love watching those get made. So it's it's like so fascinating. <laughs> They've asked us to go and pray to their family god. No. So I think this is quite a bit of an honor. Oh, blessing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's beautiful. We said our goodbyes to these very welcoming children who wanted to give us one last treat of setting off some firecrackers in a bottle of water. I'm not quite sure if it was a failed <laughs> attempt, but we were running out of time, so we never found out. Okay, so now, Aww. after all of that craziness, we need to go and get some clothes to wear for tonight. Like, we, we're, we're assuming, or the best thing to do is to wear some sort of tri traditional Indian wear. So we're going to go off to a place called, we've been recommending a place called Fab India, and that's where we're going now to go and try and get some Indian yeah. clothes for tonight. Thank you so much. Dear. The manager, managers won't go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very good of you. We'll see you shortly. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. What a fun day. And it's still only in the middle. Wow. Oh, I would die. Remember 
Yes. Okay, so I found a sari that I like, um, and the ladies are going to help me put it on because I have no idea how to put yeah. it on. And I'm going to keep it on and just leave the shop. Let's go straight. <laughs> well, you know how to take it off, though. <laughs> that's pretty easy. <laughs> okay. It's and, the uh, pleading yeah. that's hard. So this is my way of getting um, help putting on a sari. Ah, uh, amazing. Lovely. So cute. Mm. I Lots like the pins. colors. Looks good. Looks breathable, too. So she can move around. Yes, because we saw in Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Pearl, Speak when Elizabeth... Time. Yeah, when Elizabeth puts on, she's like, you could tell she <laughs> had problems breathing there. <laughs> and literally, <laughs> you cut off the circulation, it's not fun. Mm -mm. So, yeah, but you could tell right there just from her body language and her face that she's very comfortable. And it looks great on her, too. It's yes. beautiful colors, so... Very flattering. Yes, yes. Curious to see There's what he's going to be wearing. You would look nice in a kurta. Oh, I, you should... I want to wear it. I, w I want one. There's a place... Kind of south of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to go. I've known about this place for like a year or two because they have like used saris and kurtas and like all the things, but they're like nice. Guys, I think Vivian came up with a video idea. Should we go? Should we do it? Like the team, Synthesi team. Yes. Like we you, imagine me, Kristen, like. Kristen, Michael, <laughs> oh my God. and or uh, ja ja La Javi and uh, Achara. Achara, like all of us just doing that and trying <gasps> again clothes. I'm trying not. Not to go because ignorance is bliss and I will spend way too much money there. Guys, you let us know in the comments and I will mention it to Achara and, and Le Jebs. I don't know, what did I do? We're still going to be doing more food vlogs rather. But yes, Vivian will be included in the next one. We won't do it without her, I promise. Although I might have filmed another one. But having said that, wow. I will. Wow. It was uh, it was on the whim. I was trying to no, get a car. I was, I was trying to get a car from MTS, and he was getting me some food at a local okay. market. We'll see if that video makes the cut. But um, anyways, point being is, let us know. I know I'm a betrayer. From uh, Diwali. That's maybe, in a few weeks. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, let us know. Well, we'll try and get on everyone's schedule. But let us know if that's a video you guys would want. Let us continue. He's going to stay dressed now until yeah, yeah. we go out, which isn't too far away now because Again, the days just float. Breathable. Um, Look at that fabric. I mean, Gorgeous. Kurta. Kurta. Am I, am I saying it right? I think he likes that color. Um, yeah, yes, he nice. does. And, uh, it's the painted blue. It's my, it's my favorite so color too, blue. It's lovely. So I get it. Oh, she looks so, so pretty. Lovely. That blouse does not fit her. What do you think of the colour? Oh, it really suits you. Yeah? Yeah, it really suits you. Yeah. I really like it. And pink is my favourite colour. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for helping. By the way, weird fun fact I read years ago. I don't know if it's true, but I read it. It was like, you know, the Google facts of the day. Yeah. It said in the 1600s, pink was considered a boy's color and blue yep. was considered a girl's color. That's I was right. Like, That's interesting. Makes sense. Yes. Okay, so you've seen me in a pink jacket now. I'm wearing a pink sari. Mm. How much was it? I actually really like it, but I wouldn't have been able to put this on myself. No way. That's uh, a lot of fabric. I'm ready for Diwali. We headed off to grab some boxes of sweets to give as gifts. We went back to our guest house to oh, finish. Oh, that looks morning. really good. Weirdly, we noticed that looks that really good. I want to try that. And there were not it's as many so people good. outside as we Like, I want to try it right now. <laughs> okay, let's call <laughs> up Uber <laughs> Eats. Yes. Ready to come out this evening. This is why we are so excited to see what really happens at Diwali inside people's homes. Looking good, Liam. Thank you. <laughs> Swift. Okay, uh, a kurta for the occasion. Oh, the pants. I did think of a red one. I thought I'd go red this time. He's still wearing but, his shorts. Um, Janine said, You're supposed to wear like linen so type blue. or cotton pants. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, but I'm not or slacks. Pants. And uh, I'm making an effort. But I'm only, I am wearing shorts. Okay. But I thought, it's hot. Bro. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't wear trousers in the seat. I can't do it. No. So this is my compromise. We hopped uh, in a cab bro. and headed to Porva's family home. Porva is a friend who we met in Pondicherry. Oh, yes. hey, you know what? To be fair to his defense, we just went through a crazy heat wave here in LA. Today. <laughs> well, even, even, nah, I'm, but I meant like a few, remember a few mm -hmm. weeks back, it was like literally 116, yeah. 118. I don't know how hot it gets in India if it gets to that type of temperature. And I don't know how hot it is right now then and there but if it was like that temperature a few weeks ago like and human 
Yeah, I don't know if I could wear uh, pants. I really don't. To be fair, it is strange. But when I'm in Asia and it's like that and humid and you walk out and you're sweating, like you're drenched, Mm -hmm. weirdly, it cools you down if you're wearing the right material. The breathable material. Yeah, but like cotton, linen, what have you, it's actually Mm, a relief. (laughs) Fair enough. So I don't know if it's because it dries a little faster. Yeah, and I'll never forget. I went. Yeah, no, that's a a good point you make, Vivian. And I will never forget really quickly this one time, I think it was 1999, I went on a school field trip to the East Coast. We, We landed in philadelphia uh-huh. it was 112 or 113 degrees like uh in philadelphia when we were landing and as we were descending just dripping <sighs> yep absolutely dripping because i was just not used to like east coast humidity yeah at, at, uh, in, in june yeah it was awful recently she gave us an incredible tour of pune city her family kindly invited us to spend diwali with them which we feel is such an honor en route we noticed people carrying sugar canes which we later found out is a tradition at diwali and of the area. don't worry guys i know what sugar canes are this time part of the country nah. delicious no idea what to expect we met beautiful Paula, looking absolutely stunning in her sari Aww. we firstly headed off to see the toy fort. i told my dad i didn't know what sugar canes were he's like are you kidding me i was like yeah the comments said that too he's like what's wrong with you you only eat sugar every day it's like it's okay vivian explained it competition to see who can build the big we'll find you some someday headed off to porfa's apartment hello wow that's a beautiful place that takes so much time i was gonna say so i know how to draw a smiley face and that takes me hello. so much time hello. right but that's Thank also I'm you. the world's worst artist. No. Oh. How nice it is in here. It's so cozy. In here. I like this place a lot, Ray. Already so, nice. Pulver's family apartment oh. was absolutely gorgeous with an amazing balcony <sighs> area overlooking Pulver. Beautiful. I die. Very calming. That's Except amazing. Of this wonderful family I love that they have the net for protection out yeah. there. Because the people will be crazy. A jasmine garland in my hair. Is it real? Some Diwali snacks. Very nice. Oh. Thank you. Oh, you know. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to have to take your word for that because it's at the back of my head. You'll smell it though, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. We have soy Oh, do you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. You've got two crazy vegans around your house. <laughs> they uh-huh. are vegan. <laughs> oh, that's such a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> it's really nice. The um, traditional thing you have at this time of year in Fadoali. Yeah, one of the Diwali snacks, cities. Oh, so thank good. You so much. Made up of flattened rice. Oh, poha. oh it's like oh. poha. Oh. Oh. So good. Oh, nice. So this is. Chivda. 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 Which is like C H I V D A. Yeah. Chivda. Chivda. Flattened rice. Chivda. Poha that we had the other day, but in a dry form with like nuts and stuff. Yes. It looks so delicious. Red fruit. I need to stop watching things when I'm hungry. Why do we do this? We're torturing ourselves. Thank you so much. Eat it with a spoon, nauseous. Eat it with a spoon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You, you know, Vivian, I made this. Did you ever see the movie Chef with John Favreau? No. We got to get you reacting to that movie. I will tell right. Jabby and uh, Achara. It's a movie with John Favreau. It's one Great. of my favorite movies. Uh, I made a rule when I watched that movie because there's so much delicious food in that film. I never watch anything food related on an empty stomach and I'm not following the rule and I'm paying the price as usual. But yeah, I had breakfast and I'm still dying. I had, like, oh, I had breakfast. I had, I had seven eggs and oatmeal. Yeah, and I'm still dying. Mm. It's hard to be a man. Yes, it is. Mm. I had two eggs. Oh, like and taters. Yep. That sounds yummy. And Everything sounds yummy it. right now. A soya masala chai, Ooh. Oh. which is incredible. It's the first time we've been offered a soya masala chai in That's anyone's amazing. home. And um, one thing we've noticed in India is they have salty food with tea. <laughs> yeah, which that is like balance. something that we just don't do in, in England at all, no. but it's it really I love the music works. in the background too, by the way. Outside. Yeah. Sets up the vibe. Mm. Yeah. What a combination. You've got to try something. Yeah, I will. It's like yeah. your turn. That's actually homemade. Mm. It's, that's homemade, is it? Homemade. Yeah. Wow. Wow, it's incredible. It's, it's lovely. Crazy. Stop. Why can't you guys hate it? Shit. Because now I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does look so good. As we were eating our salty snacks oh, and soya time for our blessings chai, and prayers. Pooja was carrying some candles to the front door. Curiosity took over us, and we went to see what she was doing. <laughs> so part of their tra- tradition is putting candles on the rangolis. 
Yeah. What do you reckon? Um, <laughs> outside, yeah. I'll show you because I can't explain it very well. So beautiful. Triumph, light over dark. So yeah, they're ready to start. That's the just a good message for the world, for humanity. Oh, actually, incredible that they've invited us to do this. There is Uja of Mahalakshmi, goddess of Lakshmi. Well, prosperity. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Beautiful. Yes, uh, we call it Shubha Mahurta. Happy, uh, happy Mahurta. And Shubha, it yeah, means uh, auspicious, auspicious time. Auspicious time. Oh, auspicious time. Ah, oh, Shubha is. Yeah, okay. Can you explain? This is this is a puja at specific time in the in the day for the world. Puja is a worship ritual performed by Hindus to offer devotional prayer and homage to certain gods and deities. And this specific puja is done every year at 7.30 on Diwali, which means right now, all over India, millions of people will be sat in this very fashion doing just this. Beautiful. Well, not every Indian, as there are still huge amounts of fireworks going off <laughs> whilst Purva's mum and sister were chanting Sanskrit. Sanskrit being one of the oldest languages in the world. And the family explained that we are being bathed in vibrant vibrations from the words and for us it felt very calming and peaceful we sat for half an hour going through various rituals for half Ganesh, an hour is not bad Saraswati and Lakshmi and we enjoyed every minute of it we can't allude to understand everything that was being done but it felt very special and not once did we feel like strangers but actually part of the family oh. yeah. Wow, well, what an experience that was. That was uh, our first home puja. Mm -hmm. Our first home puja. It was amazing. Thank you for, for Diwali. And uh, now apparently it's time for firecrackers. <laughs> Pune. Look at all that sound. Ah, that's so cool. cool. Every direction. It's just fireworks literally all over the city, inside the building. I wonder if um, around that time, you know how for 4th of July, we'll see those huge like tent setups where they're selling like a lot of fireworks. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I wonder if they have stalls like that in India I, too, like I would over, or like... I, is it a store, probably? Or I gotta like, imagine there's a combo. I mean, obviously, let us know in the in the comment section. But I gotta imagine there's a combo both, of right? both. I mean, you got it's business time, Always. right? Yeah. It's like uh, when Valentine's Day, you have all the the teddy bears, the uh, balloons, and the uh, anything that's heart shaped. Yeah. And anything that's chocolatey. Right. Uh, I mean, it's it's the time of year. You know, you gotta sell what what you know is gonna make you money. What's hot? Yeah. You know, sell why the iron is hot, as you would say. But and uh, there's wedding too, I course, guess, of like other of course. holidays. And I'm curious too, like when it's, you know, at least here in the States, when it comes to 4th of July, I just know I'm not going to get any, which is fine, but because it's that once a year, but I know I'm not going to get any sleep that night because fireworks oh, yeah. are going to be playing, are going off all night. I'm curious if it's most likely the same thing. All week. It's all week. So all it's like, week. All right, let me get my sleep schedule Weeks. down before tomorrow starts because yeah. I'm not getting any sleep down for you the You need those week. crazy headphones. Like, Probably, yeah. yeah. If you, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so cool. Wow. Uh, That's a spectacle. Wow. Wow. Woo. Woo. Wow. Ah. Oh. wow, it's right there. It's completely insane. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's cool. Reverse shot. That's cool. Woo! Wow. Oh, wow. Vivian, I got Oops. to imagine the cleanup is oh, so yeah. simple and quick on all Super this. Super easy. Just hose it down and let the wind. <laughs> Curious, like the timetable on, on the I mean, cleanup. for us too. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, but but right? like you said, ours is one day. Theirs is all I mean, week. So I'm curious. A lot. The, the, and the big ones. <laughs> yeah. And I'd, I'd love to hear in the comments, like, what's the timetable and usually how long it takes to clean everything up? Like, And the air, too. How long does it take to clear up? Because for us, it's a few days of like weird smog. Oh, like, yeah. You can smell sure. from all those yeah. fireworks for sure. Definitely. It's like, it doesn't even matter. Like, if you knew it was 4th of July, you can just smell go, yep, it's July mm -hmm. 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th right mm -hmm. now. You hit the car. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before, ever. You know, you know, like back home, we have the sparklers that we use. That's what and that's like it. Yeah, They're not like the own source of entertainment. That's like awesome. There's no, there is just no order to it at all. It's just chaos. That's awesome. I love this. The little ones. That's one of those ones. You're going to put it on the floor. That's the worst one. Do you want to light one? You're going to put it on the floor and then light She's it. She's like, no. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to do it. Okay, I'm a bit scared. Oh, yeah, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get your I wonder how busy the hospitals are. I'll catch my sari on fire. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> on, Liam. People get third degree burns or whatnot. Or just whatever else that their ailments are. <laughs> she did it. Woo! It's like a snake. Oh, they're going to temple. How oh, cute. Beautiful. How did you find that? That was just crazy. We're just saying how peaceful it is in this lift. <laughs> but imagine if one went off in this lift, it yeah. would just be it would just be awful. Carnage. But yeah, that's quite. Um, you get used to it actually after a while, don't you? Yeah. It's quite weird. Such extreme noise. <laughs> His hands are all blue and black. You can from see the, how sweaty yeah. he is too. After the craziness uh -huh. of the fireworks, we watched as Porva set up the gorgeous placemats and decorations on the floor for dinner, Beautiful. and enjoyed a wonderful oh. meal cooked by Porva's mum with a little help from Porva and Pooja. The food Amazing. blew our minds with a huge range of different flavors, Yum. spices, and textures. Mm. And they even veganized a classic pune dish oh, wow. of sweet ponopori so dipped sweet. into soya milk. It was incredible. That's we just awesome. ate the most incredible meal, honestly, that I think I've ever eaten. Not just in India. Made with ever. love. It was oh, that's gimme. You're gonna have to get that recipe. I can't even pronounce or tell you what they're called, but it was just delicious. And I'm so full right now, and so Janine. So full. <laughs> it was amazing though. Really excellent food. <laughs> and this is the chef. <laughs> Mummy, there you go. Thank you, so thank you, thank you, thank you, delicious. and thank you, thank you all, thank, yeah. thank you. No, to help us with the digestion of one of the most magnificent meals we have ever had, we put some tunes on our keyboard, and then before booking a taxi home, the family presented us with some gifts. Aww. Liam got some Diwali candles, and I got a really trendy Aww. handbag. We couldn't believe it after all we had been treated to this evening. As you didn't arrived, bring anything. We had to say goodbye, and it was at this time past. 11 p.m. we drove home and reflected on what may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to celebrate yeah that's the something they're never gonna forget the rest of their time. lives like even though this was done for a YouTube video like it's the experience that they're gonna remember like they'll remember this forever, forever.
Yeah. Like this was an awesome thing that they got to witness and be a part of. Such a gift. I mean, from the meals to the the experience with the children, with the family, just everything was like, yeah. I mean, and the cool part is like they get to see it too, yeah. like and relive it. Yeah. That's the beautiful That's the part. That's the best part. Yeah. yeah. Now you don't have to just rely on the actual like your head memories. You get to actually like watch it. Have proof. Yeah. That's so and cool. And they're so thoughtful about it too. Like family it was so, it would like, catering to their, Vegan. their veganism right. and, and still being like, come, you know, experience it with us. It's so generous and beautiful. Yeah. I just love how heartwarming and like accepting everyone was like just towards them and their needs. I'm like, oh, I love this. Oh, humans. In a beautiful world. <laughs> yes. It was amazing. Our hearts are so flipping full mm -hmm. to be invited. I know we we're moving here, invited, but honestly, yep. it feels so special Sold. to be invited around into a family's home for such a big festival of the year, perhaps the biggest festival on the Hindu calendar. And uh, being British ourselves, our biggest festival on our calendar is Christmas, uh, which is fast approaching. And, you know, culturally, I think the reason why I find it like quite a little bit strange even um, that we got invited to someone's home is because culturally, we, we, we only have family round um, for Christmas. True. And we don't, we definitely don't invite East strangers. East versus we, West. We've only met Horva twice now. When she came out to meet us, had already had the invite in her back pocket, basically, metaphorically, from her mum to invite us out. So it feels really, really strange, like, for British people. But maybe that's the whole point of festivals, you know? Maybe that's what's lost with festivals and, like, Christmas and stuff. Maybe the whole point is you share what you have. Yeah. And Bravo. It's not just about sharing it with the people that you love and the people you're closest with. I don't know. All these things really, really change the way that I think and the way that I navigate through life. And I'm very, very grateful for that. That's traveling for you. And that's traveling to India for you. Mm. I hope you liked this opportunity to have a look inside um, some local Indian people's home in Diwali. We, we did. We certainly did. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, subscribe. And we're about now to head off to something that makes India world famous. It's all magical. It's all mystical still. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Oh. All right, that was the, those happy days video. That's a great channel, and, and again, I, I love uh, everything that they uh, did right there, and just like understanding what Diwali is all about, and then getting to experience it with people. And again, I think he said it best there too, because like with Christmas, for instance, like we spend it usually with friends and family. So to see how inviting, you know, um, these people were, like with, str and again, obviously they had camera and crew and all that, but still, like they don't, they didn't know them. Um, just like having strangers, like no, come, come celebrate with us like it just again just really warmed my heart and I, it's interesting to see like in different parts of the world like to get that experience and just mm -hmm. to see it's it's kind of like a counterbalance like you know and see like oh okay maybe this is something i could incorporate this into my part of the world as well like you know what i mean obviously you got to be very careful it's 2024 at the same time you know you got to be very careful who you invite into your home i'm not <laughs> yes. saying just just let anyone into your home yeah, no. be very be very careful at the same time uh but again i i, I thought that was a, a beautiful message and uh, just throughout the rest of the video i loved everything from the food that they experienced uh, to the people's lives uh, that were that they touched and were touched by them as well. I thought it was a, a very cool video and such a cool idea to do, like uh, just to experience uh, Diwali there. It was a beautiful reflection that he had and so impactful. I, I really appreciated seeing the, the move from being like overwhelmed and like, oh gosh, it's hot to like, okay, it's crazy to like, okay, wait, this is changing my perspective and like he said this is why you travel because we get so stuck in our you know little world right. and our little environment and even our culture that i love them for for doing this and giving that message out there yeah. i really enjoy them i think i really appreciated seeing the smaller scale celebration because like christmas it can be huge you can pour money into it or it could be this intimate thing that happens inside your your house with mm -hmm. you like your family and it's just as special and i really loved getting to see that and feeling the coziness and the absolutely the wholesomeness absolutely of it. 
Yeah. Um, I love those kids. Just a really heartwarming video, <laughs> and just and and a fun video too. It was really paceful, and I love all the music they incorporated. It just it, it really like made the video even go by even more smoothly in terms of pacing too. So it was a really very inventive choice on the music as well by uh, those happy days uh, the channel here. Yeah. So really really good. I can understand now why they're got a lot of subscribers. Yeah. Very well deserved. I hope they continue to get more. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to them, make sure you do. And uh, any final thoughts or they made me a happy day. They made us. <laughs> They made us uh, have a happy day. One tiny yeah. thing, my Western fam. If you are traveling and you go to someone's house or to wherever, please bring them something. <laughs> it does not matter how small it is. It does not matter I, if you I, literally I just grabbed it on the side of the road I because agree. it's last minute. Don't go empty handed. Vivian, good call. Especially I, for a holiday. That's that's a, a holiday or not. Like if, or not. if someone if someone's inviting you into your home and you're a guest, it's the kind thing yeah. to do. It, it could be anything, like whether it's a bottle of wine, whether it, whatever, a cheese, Cake, cookies, what, like whatever it is it's it's just thank you very much for your hospitality i brought this as a sign of thank you and respect i've had moments where i have forgotten and not done it but for the most part yeah right try let's represent our culture yeah (laughs) yeah exactly it's just it's just kind of do yeah good call (laughs) uh anyways if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button bell icon all notifications and smash the like button so you can let us know that you are enjoying what you're watching until next time i'm andrew flash gordon this is vivian happy day Hey, see you guys next time.